So we're back. We're back. And we're, we're just going to 23 today. And then next next week, we're going to move a little bit faster, right? And and you, uh, you, you should... You should go to the to the website, right? The website, and in the website you have a you have a section, right? I will send you, I will tell you what week is in the website so that you can do that, all right? So the website is www.pickisgh.org, and then you have right the forward slash ikra. Okay, that has the complete course mm -hmm. that you can take you know, one week at a time and listen to it, even when you drive, because it's audio. So you can put it on your phone, oh, wow. right? Put mm -hmm. it on the Bluetooth, and your car is, is your teacher. You're driving, you, you, you just listen to one track, which is broken down. The whole class is broken down to tracks. So you can do one, two tracks, listen to it. You know what? Let me press play again as I'm driving. Listen to it again. So you, 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 there's multiple ways of doing it, okay? So the next, let's do the bat, right? So the letter bat, the letter bat, I'm going to write it in blue, right? So the letter bat, this is by itself, the letter by itself. The first letter starts with bat, bat, bat. Baytun. Baytun. The second letter, the second one, the second word, I'm sorry. Second word. Ha. Second one is. So the way it is, is. Hab. Hab. Hab, Lun. The third one is Kalbun. Right. Okay, so this is Ba in the beginning. Bat in the middle, bat in the end. Come in. Bat in the beginning, bat in the middle, bat in the end. Jazakallah Right, so I'm going to read it and then I'm going to ask you to read it, okay? So this is bay, bay, ba, bay, ba, 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 e, because this is uh, sukun, no vowel. So this is e, e, bay, bay. Tun, 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 bay, 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 some people say bay, bay, tun, that's the way it kind of, it inclines to, but if you say, if you sound it like correctly, it should be ba, fata, ba, 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 bay, 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 tun. So, فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ بَيْتِ Na bait. Bait. Ba. Ba. Bait. Bait. Baitun. 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 Good. So, this is Baitun. The next one. Ha. This is the Ha. Right? Ha. Ba lam ha ba lam okay ha fata ha 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 ba no 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 vowel b b ha b and the and the ba has an echo sound it's called qalqala meaning that there's an echo sound like this ha b b ha b like kalb you see that, like, like there's like a little echo sound. Kalb. Kalb. Naam. Kalb. Kalbun. But there's like this uh, here. Uh, hab. Hab. Hablun. 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 
Hablon. 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 What is the little? Um, remind me. What is the okay. little circle? So there's three. Indicate? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna. There's three vowels, and the circle means there's no vowels, right? Oh, okay. So look. So it's a, i, u, and a sukun. So this is a, i, u, and this tells you that the letter sounds like itself, right? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna explain myself, right? Like, like uh, the letter ba ba. What's the sound of ba? Ba. B. 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 Okay. Ta. What's the sound of ta? The name is ta. Sound. T. Jim. Jim. J. Jim. J. Alif is the name. A. Alif, a, uh, right? Ba, b, ta, t, fa, th, jim, j, ha, h, dal, d, dal, z, ra, r, za, z. Okay? So the sukun is called sukun. So this is the, I'm going to write for you the names, right? So this is, this is fata. Which equals a. This is kasra. Which equals e. And this is dhamma. Dhamma, which equals u. And then this is called sukun. Which equals the letter that sounds like itself, right? right? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. And then a lot of the times, do they not put the little sukun that went in, okay. in normal writing? Okay. So, let me see. I know I throw everything off. <laughs> I hope I have something. Do you know that um, like more like modern day they don't really use a lot of the ex the a lot of the um, top and bottom? Find the vowels. There's no vowels. There's no vowels. You're just gonna have to. It's cause like you have, have to say a prayer and like, figure it out. No. Right. Okay. So what's the use of the vowels? So you when can learn when you it. look when you learn Arabic grammar. Mm -hmm. You understand the rules, and without the letters, you know what vowel is. Like, for example, if it has a preposition and there's no vowels, mm -hmm. then you know that it's e at the end of the noun. See that? Okay. If, if, it's, if, you, if you see the position of the noun, and it's in the position where the noun should be un, then you know without any vowels. If it's, it doesn't have alif, walam, then it has un or in or an, depending on where it is in the sentence. So you, that, that's grammar, right? So grammar gets you to the point of, like I used to take exams, like I used to read books like 400 pages, no vowels. I had to implement the grammar. So I've been studying this for 14 years. Is that your still, first language? Is Arabic? Uh, my first one is Spanglish. Really? I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> oh, I'm wow. not, you know, I'm, I accepted Islam. I became Muslim in 1999. I, you know, I, I learned, I grew up in New York, New Jersey, mm -hmm. right, in the city. Uh, I accepted Islam and that my journey, because of what it offered me, uh, led me to having this, like, desire to learn so that I can bring that benefit to my people. Oh, You see sense. that? I'm like, wow, it's so beneficial. This has such an impact on me. Why, why I need, I want to share it. Then I said, but I don't want to take it just from somebody's interpretation. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to, I want to be able to go into books. Right? I want to, to learn the fundamentals so that I can understand the religion, mm -hmm. right? And bring the most benefit, right? So for example, I have this collection here, which is like 12 volumes, right? Mm -hmm. So this is... So the, the, 
this these books are written by by um, compiled by thirty scholars. Scholars of Arabic, scholars of Quran, scholars of Hadith. So this is, for example, is by subject, right? Mm -hmm. So like this, um, I'm going to show you something. Just so you can get an idea, right? So this is one chapter, right? One topic, right? Al-Huzn, mm -hmm. right? Sadness, right? So here, the word, the, the scholars of language explain what the sadness means linguistically. Oh. Then, the scholars of Quran and Hadith will tell you, in the Quran, the word is mentioned 20 times. Then they put the verses 1 to 20 of the Quran, of the scripture, 1 to 20. Then it says, in the sayings of the Prophet, is mentioned uh, 12 times, right? So here's the 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then here it tells you what are the, um, what, what do other companions or uh, people, generation that came after, what do they say? And what is the, what is the, what is the, min um, uh, what, what is the, the, like the benefit of knowing about this topic, right? So it's all research. This is like your verified Google nice. for me, right? So it's 12 volumes, topics like this. So whenever I want to research, I'll go in, into, this, into this subject, right? So like, for example, the sermon I gave in Katy, right? I looked at that book. And what does it say about Salah linguistically, this and that? And I'll take references, right? So, that, so the thing is, that's what I wanted to get. I want to be. I want to. I wanted to be able to navigate like that. Mm -hmm. So, but this is the base. Okay. So bat in the beginning, bat in the middle, bat in the ends. Okay, and then the vowels a e u and sukun. So a is fatsa, e is kasra, u is dhamma, and sukun is the little circle. Sometimes they don't write it, and if they don't write it, then that means there's no vowel. Okay, so let's proceed. And I know what you mean with knowing, once you apply the rules, knowing where, what it is. Yeah. I, yeah. I understand what point you're making. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that's, so here we have, um, so ba, uh, and the next one is, kalbun. Ka, kal, kalbun. Kalbun. Sukun, kalbun. Kalbun. So here in the middle, there has sukun, right? Kalbun. Kalbun. Ka? Kalbun. Right? The next one is ta. The next one is ta. Right? Ta. So ta in the beginning. So it's ta. ta. So it's ta. And then the next, the ta, double dot. The next one is the letters meme. Ta, meme. Meme. And the next letter is ra. Tam, 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 tamrun, tamrun, tamrun. You see it? How is it? Oh, man, I'm, I'm recording the sofa. That's not good. Sorry, everybody. Uh, the vowels are mostly used for, like, Quranic Arabic, because it's, like, the most elegant and, like, perfect, and so you know, like, Exactly which word, so. Mm. Yes, so, correct, correct. So that's. So in the Quran, so, it would be it was like, everything would be. It's just yeah, like yeah. modern days, more casual. You know, it's just like speaking. Mm -hmm. So for example, so see, so this is the Quranic Arabic. Oh. So it's filled with vowels. Wa, wal, Tawajjaha walamma tawajjaha til tilqa mad madina madina qala asa 
Rabbi an yahdini sawa as What does the um the red indicate? Is it the end of the It's picture? just when, whenever it's mentioned in God. Whenever it's, oh, just like okay. Yeah, so they they, they 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 wrote it like that, but but in, in not all of the uh, Qurans have it. Well, that's the publication that does it. All right, so next one, ta in the beginning, ta ta says t ta mim ra ta mim ra ta fata ta 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 mim sukun mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that process so that mim sukun mm tam tam. Ra dhamma ta ra and two dhammas. Right? Run. Tamrun. 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 Okay? Tamrun. Okay, the next one is it starts with meme. It starts with meme. Meme. Is that a word? Meme. Meme. Calf. Calf. Ta, I'm gonna write the vowels afterwards. Ta. Ba. So it's mac. No. M mac. So look, mac. Mim, fata, ma. Ka, sukun, ke. Mac, mac. Ta, fata, ta. Mac, ta. Makta, makta, ba, dhammatan, two dhammas, boon, mak, mak, taboon, mak, taboon. You can break it like a syllabus. Mak, taboon, mak, repeat it. Mak, taboon, mak, taboon. Mak, correct. Mac, so, mak, taboon, mak, taboon, this is a, this is a, a mak, taboon. It's an it's a it's a, a like an office, right? Maktaba with ta with a ta at the end is a library, okay? Maktabun. Then we have the next one. What's the next word? The, the same bait. Okay. So bait. 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 Okay, so that's ta at the end. Okay, so we use the word bait for uh, ba in the beginning and now ta in the end. Baitun. Okay, the next one is ta. Ta. Tha, 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 like T H, tha. Yeah. So tha in the beginning, tha, 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 Read that one. Bu, tha, tha, bu, tha. That's true. Boo. Thou. Thou. Boon. Boon. Okay? Remember, the double vowel has the end sound at the end. Un. Na u. U. Un. Right? So it's like this. Look. U. Un. A. An. E. In. Reviewing the previous lessons, okay? Just. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, no, you gotta put me on the spot. I, I, have, to, I have to put you on the spot. Because you we're live, to. right? So yeah, we have, have to, like. To. You have to. Yeah, you, this will be a memory, okay? Yes. <laughs> Tauba. Taubon. Okay, the next one begins with a ta. So it's ta. This is a long one. Ta. Meme. Tim. Good. Good. Tim. And then the tha. Tha. Good. And then the ah. Good. 
Alif, Alif, right? Alif, and then the Lam. Good. So it's Tim, Tim, Fa. Because this Alif doesn't have a Hamza, right? If it's like this, it's Tim Fa, but it doesn't have an a Hamza, so it's a it's a long vowel. All right. So it's Tim Fal, Tim Fal. If it doesn't have an Hamza, it off. It's long. It's long. Not, so, so, and the length of it, just so that you can know, so it's, it's raising your finger. So like this. Tim fal. You see that? Tim fal. Kitab. Bab. Bab. So you see? So it's like raising the finger once. Tim fal. Al. Tim fal. Tim fal. These are these, these are just like like for example like in 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 Quran right when you're reading uh the la the the new the first chapter Surah Al Fatiha right at the end of it it says غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الض this da like this uh it, it looks like an eyebrow right it looks like an is 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 you're gonna see it in red as well. Like here, uh, here, that it looks like an eyebrow here. Mm -hmm. See this? That means that it's six, like this. So Which look. One? That long, that yeah, long. Th yeah, this one here. This one here, this here. Mm -hmm. That means that it's six, okay? So it will be like this. What a dolin. See that? So one thing is a second, right? Uh -huh. one, yeah, yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so, so, so you, yeah. I, this is why, I mean, uh, yeah. you cannot divorce the Quran from Arabic. This is just, uh, it's part of it. Okay, so so the next one is timthal. Timthal, the other, the, the next word, there's two thals, right? Mim. Mim. Tha. Tha. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mim. Tha. Lam. Right. And then. Tha. So here the vowels are. Tha. Muthalath. correct. MashaAllah. Correct. So here, there's a, there's another thing here. There's a, you see this little three? That, so, and then you have, let me just write this here. So you have the single vowels, right? And then you have the sukun, right? Mm -hmm. And then what else? You have this. It's a little three. Okay? That means that there's two of those letters. So this, the vowel, these vowels go mm -hmm. here, either go here mm -hmm. or either go like this. Or if you see this line that's under the three, that means it's a kasra. That means it's a E if it's under. Okay? Okay. So let me... So, so this means that there's two letters. So here... That means that there's two lambs. Okay? So, for example, that means this, look. That there's a lamb like this. Mm -hmm. And there's another lamb. Okay? So here, so for example, Muthal. Mu. And then one lamb has sukun. Look, can, can you pay attention here, please? So here, yeah, one lamb has sukun. Okay, muthal. And then another one has a fatsa. Muthal. So you hold the lamb, muthal. La, muthal. Lef. Okay? But when you have this scenario, they put it together and they'll just put a three on top. So you don't repeat the same letter. But, but it has the application. So look, 
Muthal, Muthal, this is the sound of this one with no vowel. Muthal, and then there's a, another lamb with a a, uh, la, muthallath, muthallath, muthallath. So you hold the lamb, muthallath. So if it's the... If it's one lamb, if it's one lamb, it's muthallath, 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 right? And if the little, um, on top of the three, instead of the dash, if it was on the if bottom... It was, if it was on the muthallith. Then it becomes an e. e. And then if it has the... Alma is mutalluth. Got it. Okay? Yes. And this is new. I'm sorry. This is, no, no, no. That's these okay. are just symbols. Yes. Right? This is symbols that you, that we need. It, it helps us navigate in our reading. Because it's like this... That uh, This is the way it's explained. Whenever there's... Like... Um, I'll give you an example. There's another... another there's in, in the Quran a lot. Like... Thumma. Thumma is written like this, look. Right? Thumma. 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 That means that there's a tha, a meme, and another meme, right? And the same th, the same pattern. This is what happens. This is what happens. So these are the vowels. One has sukum, and one has ah. So here one has sukun and one ah. So how do you sound it? Sound it? Thum, thum, ma, thum, ma, thum, ma. No, you hold it. Thum, ma, thum, ma, thum, ma. Short, right? So this is how. But in order to 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 the Arabic language has something that doesn't like to uh, complicate things, right? So it it makes it. Instead of writing two letters, mm -hmm. you just write this little three on top. But you know there's two letters. Like in the word Allah, you hold it. Allah. Why? Because there's two lambs. There's another lamb that's not written. Allah. There's two. Because you see that three that's on top. You write like this. Alif. Lamb. Lamb. Ha. Right? Okay. So then you write. You write the three. Allah. There's one one lamb, two lambs, three lambs. Ha. Oh, so there's three in the uh -huh. word? Oh, I thought it was two the whole that, time. Yeah, there's two, but then there's, there's three. three, there's another one. So there's a, oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. So it's not like we read in English, Allah, Allah, mm -hmm. Allah. No. no. It's all, you hold the lamb. Allah. Oh. Allah. You get it? So that's the proper pronunciation. So when somebody says Allah, Allah, I say, no, no, not Allah. Allah. Oh. Yeah, and I mean, I, for me, it's a teaching moment every time. Mm -hmm. And it's fun because people are like, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, you don't have to apologize. I, just want, I want you to get it right. And at the same time, you know how there's a, there's a general principle that you don't use the name of the Lord in vain, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So don't use Allah wrongfully and then use it in vain so people kind of hesitate to use it allah okay so let's get back on track right let's just let's that just... makes sense <laughs> why it sounds different right <laughs> right all right okay. one, more, one more question whenever it has a three is the first letter always going to be pronounced as the su as how it's normally like a sukun? correct Okay. So when you look at, when you think about it, there's always, when, the, when there's a shadda, you take that letter by itself. You take the lamb, right? Mm -hmm. So you put two lambs. Okay. Right, you put two lambs. That means the first one, no no vowel, sukun, and then the fatah. Which, whatever vowel it has on Whatever vowel it has. Got it. Right? So okay. then, so, uh, so, all, so, so, so the, the application of it, the application of it is that you hold the letter because the first one is a sukun, so you hold the letter like this. If 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 it's only one, like thu, thuma thuma thuma, but since there's two memes, thuma, thuma, right? Good. Muthal mu, muthal, you hold the lamb like muthalath 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 muthalath. You see muthalath. Muthallat. 
So there will be other examples. All right, so we will we'll just, we can stop here. If, uh, or you want to do five minutes and finish up? Like, sure, yeah. I mean, you're done. You Wait, done? can I no, just go? I mean, you're yeah, please ask, please ask. So us. in essence, the, what's the W called again? Okay, very good, very good question. So this, this so it's a W or a laying down three, right? <laughs> I, I have, okay, so this called a Shadda. Okay, okay. Shadda. Shadda. Sukun. Sukun. Uh, kasra. Kasra. Fatsa. And Dhamma. So, in essence, the Shadda is on top. Yeah. The Shadda is on yeah. top of the letter being. It's on top of the letter. Sometimes, sometimes they would write if the if the if the vowel that's with the shadda is a kasra. Sometimes they will put the kasra on top of the on the bottom of the, under the letter, like it, it typically goes like e, right? But the reason why it makes more sense to put it under the shadda for to make it easy to read. For example, if your eyes have to look at the shadda and then is a kasra, you have to go on the same letter up and down. You, you understand? So it, so it's right there. It's like you're reading it. Makes it easy. Some people do it because the the kasra typically goes under the letter, like ti, ti. Mm. But because it, it, imagine if you have if you have a shadda here, and then you put it that means you have to look at you have to look at a two like two vowels. Right? So if, it, if the shadda is here, then you go like this. And it takes that other one off. Makes it easy to read, right? It, it, it's. But how will you know? Oh, that's only because you're skilled enough to know? Because it's under the three? If it's like. Uh, it's yeah, under the, if it's under the three, it's kasra. Yeah. So if, if it's like this, if it's like this, right? It's fatsa. If it's like, I'm going to put it here. If it's like this, it's kasra. Fatsa, kasra. And if it's like this here, I'm sorry, this is Dhamma. Okay? So that's the way it goes. So the, the Shadda can be like that. If it's a line underneath, that means it's a Kasra. If there's a line underneath, that means it's a Kasra. Kasra is the E sound. But it's never underneath the entire word? It, the Shadda, no. The Shadda is always on top. The shadda is always on top. So for okay, so then for I, it's just on the bottom. Yeah. So so, predominantly, is under the shadda, because now you know why. Because the shadda took the role of the letter. You see that the shadda took the role because now the focus is the shadda because so that you can get the proper pronunciation of the word of the letter. This this will come back. I mean, we'll, oh, like what if there's um, what if it's doubling? Oh, but then you can't double both a vowel and a consonant. Like, give me. Um, or are there just no words with like double vowel, double consonant put together? Yeah, there is. Like, like if there's a if there's a shadda, like if the shadda is it, towards the end of the. Because usually, usually the double vowels is that they always are at the end of the word, of the noun. Oh, really? Remember that. Okay. The double vowel, this double vowel, mm -hmm. the usage of it is at the end of the noun. If the noun doesn't have al, then it's a double vowel. Okay? Because the double vowel is a symbol of a noun. The double vowel is a symbol of the noun. So verbs will never have double vowels? Nope. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Okay, all right. good. All right, all right. All right, so now see how knowing that technicality will help you know. Is it a verb? Uh, no. Then there's there's symbols for verbs too. So you know what's a verb. Oh, cool. What's okay. before the verb? Okay, how does the verb start? If it's present, past. Like, for example, I'll give an example of a verb. Kataba, uh, he wrote. Daraba, he hit. 
Fataha, he opened. Masaka, he held. What verb is it implying? Present, future, or past? Kataba, he wrote. Past. Good. So you see the sound mm -hmm. of the past verb? Kataba, daraba, wajada, masaka. It only has fatsa. A, a, a. Daraba, masaka. Al imam, jalasa. He sat down. I'm sitting. Al imam, ya jilisu. He's sitting. Oh, okay. Ya jilisu. All right. Al imam, yamsiku. Holds al kitab. We'll, we'll, we'll learn that. But <laughs> so, that makes sense. I'll yeah, just say, kind of, I'll just say, sense, so, yes. so, so there are symbols, okay? So let, let's go to the last two lines. The Wait. next line, yes. Oh, sorry, one, no. one last question. Sure, sure. So this is how it would look if it was with uh, um, a, any consonant with a kusra? Yeah, with... with, with if it's uh, oh. double this and double vowel? Yes, yeah, so it's so uh, correct. So this will be, this this is a ra, right? Or this is a ra, uh, 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 it's just anything. Like, I'm um, sorry, it was like an L. In the okay, middle, just so like... it will be, this will be Lin. 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 Because there's two lambs and, 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 and double cuss. Oh, because of the end. Lin. Yes. But ah. when it's printed, it's noticeably farther away so that it doesn't look like that. Or the doubles so, always so end up at the end. They end up at the end, but in Quranic script, it varies based on the letter. Right? Uh, do, do we, now, <laughs> that's a very good question, right? <laughs> very good question. There's a science of reading the Quran, right? Mm -hmm. If the letter, if, if the previous letter enters into the other letter, okay. then it, 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 because of the double vowel, then it takes away the N and it goes out. It, it, it's called Tanween. It, it goes in, it goes in Ram. Like, for example, um, I think you were telling us about Tanween. Um, yeah, so Tanween it is, but, but look at this, look at this. So, this is, right? So, here, I'm going to just put in black. Okay, so you see this? By itself, man, man, ya, ya, mal. Okay? In the Quran, when you have noon or tanween, noon or tanween, because see, it's together, tanween or noon. Uh, run, uh, uh, run. I mean, uh, this is what run, 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 or fun, fun, right? Okay, so when you have noon with sukun or tanwin followed by ya, then it removes the noon sound and it, and it goes into the ya. Okay, look, instead of men. Yeah, I'm a, that's how you get in there, right? That, that's because sometimes the lines, the lines, when, when it's this, this is the way the line looks in the Quran. Okay? So it's sometimes like this, right? It's sometimes, it's sometimes like this. That means the sounds N. Like this, when it enters into this other letter. So it will be, يعمل, You see how? يعمل, so what happens is the noon has two functions. Number one is the sound from the nose. There's a sound. If you hold it up, you can do it. No, 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 no. You can do it. Right? So it comes from the nose. It's called runna, nose, from the nose, right? And then the tongue on, uh, on top of the roof of the, of the mouth. Noon, noon. So what this does, it removes the tongue part. Man ya'mal is not man ya'mal. 
So you see the Quran, it, it, there's, there's six letters that happens with this, mm. right? So this is where the Tanween comes in. This is how significant it is. So whenever you see a Tanween, you look at what's after. If it's a Ya, that means that it enters into the Ya. Yeah, and if it's another letter like an alif, then the tanween sounds man, amana, man, amana. There's an alif after. The noon sounds completely man, amala. Kind of like friend, in some ways. So it's so that's that's a, that's the role of the tanween in reading Quran. I'm just this is important, right? Because. Uh, we we look at it when we look at it in the Quran it varies in the way you write it. Okay, so the next we're gonna go we're gonna go to the the, the words here. So we have this word here. The next one is jim, right? You see the jim, the jim in the beginning, the jim in the middle, and the jim in the end. Okay, beginning, middle, and under the word you have the way it looks by itself, right? Jim in the beginning, jim in the middle. Jim in the end. So the first one is Jim Fata Ja Ja Mim Fata Ma Jama Jama Lam and put the two dhammas Jamalun 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 not Jamalun. There's a difference. If you say Jamalun, I'm gonna say what it is. Jamalun is beautiful. Jamalun is camel. <laughs> so if you want to tell somebody you're beautiful. Right? Mm. Don't tell them Jamalun. Because you tell, you, you tell them you're a camel. Okay. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right? See, 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 if you prolong it too much, it changes the meaning. Jamalun, that means camel. Jamalun, that means beautiful. Jamalun. See, that's beautiful, right? But here, jam no, don't, don't change it because you're going to get confused. <laughs> and then it's the same thing, it's the same thing like the word. Like here, this word here. Kalbun. Kalbun means dog. Don't worry about the meaning because we're going to get it afterwards. But Kalbun means dog. The letter Qaf with Q, with the Qaf, Kalbun means heart. Oh. So if you pronounce it wrong, like I love you with all my Kalb, that means I love you with all my dog. Oh. If you say I love you with all my heart, Qalbi is like this. Right? Qalbi. and Okay? So that's why pronouncing pronouncing the letters the way the way they, they should be, it's important because it also changes the meaning. Okay? And we don't want to offend anybody. Okay, so the next one is, so here, Jamalun. The next word is, Sha, Sha, Jim, Fatsa, Ja, Sha, Ja, Sha, Ja, Sha, Ja, Ra, Fatsa, Ra, Sha, Ja, Ra, Sha, Ja, Ra, Sha, Ja, Ra. And this little circle. There's some grammar in this. Okay? So here, shajara. This is called. If you look at look at look at that word, look at the, the this and this. This is the same. This is the top and bottom is the same. The last letter. The thing is that ra doesn't connect with nothing afterwards. So therefore, it, it, they write it as a circle. When it connects, it looks like this. Okay. Now, what is it? This I, I remember. I said that there is. When there is two dots, what is it? A ta. It's a ta. Okay. There is a difference though. When you stop at it, when you stop at it, it sounds ha, like a ha. When you continue, and there's another word after, it sounds ta. That's the difference. For example, I'm going to explain. This bait, it sounds okay if you read it like this like there's no word after and i'm not gonna put you say shajarah but if you say a big tree 
Shajaratun. You see the ta sounds. Shajaratun kabira. A big tree. So when you stop at it, it sounds like ha. When you continue, it sounds ta. That's the difference. This is called the name of this word of this. So I can erase this, right? You can erase this. Tell me that again. If it stops, it becomes Yeah, I'm gonna ta. I'm gonna explain right here. Right? So okay. So the ta is like this, right? This is called an open ta. Ta. Right? Ta. Ta. And this is called it is written like this. It's written like this. Or it's written sometimes like this. Okay? It's written like this, like a circle. What th this is called a ta that is tied up. Ta marbuta. Is a ta? See the ta is open. Mm -hmm. This is closed. Oh, okay. Okay, is a ta that here is like it looks like a rope. It's a, a ta that's tied up. Okay? So now the difference is this one when you stop at the end, when you stop at it, mm -hmm. it sounds ta ta bait bait. Okay? Bait at it sounds. When you read this like this, for example, shajara, shajara, right? When you write it, you write shajaratun, right? But because you stop at it, like that's the that's the last va, that's the last letter that you're gonna sound. Then it sounds ha, shajara. So we shajara, shajara. If you continue like this, and there's another word afterwards, right? Shajaratun kabira. Shajaratun. So you sound it. Kabira. Since you stop here, it sounds kabira. It wouldn't be with the N? No, you will have the, you will have the, you will have the tanuin, but it sounds ha because you stopped at it. So that's the rule for this this ta. The rule for this ta, the rule for it is that if you can if it continues to another word, then it sounds ta. If you stop at it, it sounds ha. Like Allah. Allah sounds the same as this. Allah. So this is a ha that's tied up also. Ha. Allah. Allah. So this sounds ha when you stop at it. Like at the end of a word. Like shajara. Like here, there's a there's a few of them. Like look here. Look here. Uh, open it. So here. Shajara. I'm gonna read it the way because there's no word after, okay? So we can get it right. Shajara. Shajara. See? But there's a ta. Haqiba. Nah, nah, la, nah, la. You see, that's the application of it. But don't say the uh, the double now. No, that's yeah. I just have to remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. with the yeah, so you write it, you write it, you write the double vowel because it belongs there, but you don't sound it because of the letter. You get it? I know, I know. It's it's a little bit technical. But it, it through repetition it, you you will get it. It's not so. Don't worry about it. Just write it. Make a mess of your book. That's learning. That's the way we. You know, most of my books are messy, but I know how to navigate through it. All right. So that's it's a good thing. So is the this letter technically an H or a T? It's a T. Okay. So it's a it's a it's called the T that's tied up. Ta marbuta. Linguistically, marbuta means tied up, robot up. Okay, okay so, uh, ta marbuta. I finally get what that is. Mm -hmm. All right. I learned that before and I had no idea. <laughs> okay, so that's. Uh, so, let, let, so we are in.
Okay, so we're here. Okay, so um, so we are here. So this one is Ba Dhamma Burj 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 Burjun Burjun. Right for the double vowel at the end. Burjun. Ba, dhamma. Oh, because it has a W? It has I mean, with a three? U. Yeah. Ba, dhamma, u, bur, sukun, r. Oh, that's a little. Yeah. I just realized so, it has a little dog. Yeah. And, and, and put two, two dhammas here. Un. Good. Bur, jun. The next one. Hakiba. Ha. You could put a, the vowel on top, correct? Mm -hmm. Haki, haki, haki. Hakiba. Okay, there's also a kasra here. Okay, there's a kasra here. There's a kasra here. Ka ki. So that's why, because there's a kasra mm -hmm. and there's a ya, yeah, that means it, it's like a long vowel. Haki, haki, ba. And then there's a fatza here. There's a fatza here. Hakiba. Hakiba. That is a um. Qaf. A, this is a qaf because it's qaf? a circle. It's a circle, right? Qaf. Remember it, it, now. How do I know if it's a qaf or a ta? Because it has two dots, right? I mm -hmm. said if it has two dots, it's a ta. Mm -hmm. or no, because when when you look here, ta in the beginning mm -hmm. looks like this. Ta in the middle. How does it look? Like. Oh, it doesn't look uh, like Right? That. So that's where this lesson comes ah, into place. Okay. Ta in the middle looks like this. So cough. cough in the middle looks like this. Okay? Cough as in Q? Q, Q. correct. Correct. Like Quran. And that's where people write Quran with a K. Right? In English sometimes. Mm -hmm. They write it like this. The Quran. Like, right? You, you see it in bookstores like Barnes and Noble. The Quran. It's not. It's not. It's not the Quran. I'm sorry, it's just not. It's right, it's Q, Q. because Dhammas U, right? U Qur. So if you want to do it like this, just to kind of put the long the long because there's a mad look, I'm gonna write it in Arabic. I'm gonna let me just this is Arabic class, right? Look at look at here. So qaf. Raw, right? Remember my story about the, the, the little eyebrow? You hold it. Or they write it like this too. Or and or and or they write it like this. There's two ways of writing it. Qur and Qur and same. Is it, they put it together and it becomes a long vowel. Qur and you can make it longer. Qur and Qur and if you want to write it in English, then it should be like not really an R. Oh, there it is. There's an R. There's an R. There's an R. R. There's an R. There it is. There it is. Right? Okay. Ra Hamza a. Quran, right? So it should be like this. If you want to write it, if you want to do justice, right? You could do this. Stop. Oh, I'm sorry, my mind is thinking. Why is it off? Forgive me, forgive me, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. Quran. Quran. 